Number five. New York Giants. Red Bomar. Brent, let me ask you, you're here at the 2009 NFL Rookie Premier photo shoot. How excited are you to be on your first upper deck trading card? I'm uh, very excited to be on the first upper deck trading card. You know, uh, it's an honor. You know, you, you collect these cards as a kid growing up, and now, you know, you get to be on one and you get to put the uniform on for the first time. So, uh, you know, it's an exciting experience. Let me ask you about signing autographs. Uh, do you enjoy it? Do you consider it an honor when somebody walks up and asks you for your autograph? I think you have to. I think that's how you have to be, especially early on in your career. I mean, because you were that kid one day, or, you know, when, a few years Absolutely. ago. You know, so I think it, it is an honor. Good. Have you signed anything unusual, and uh, body parts included? <laughs> I actually have one time uh, a girl, you know, pulled down her shirt a little bit and made me sign it. So uh, that's probably the most un the unusual thing I've ever done. Do you do anything unique with your signature? Do you add the number five? Do you uh, spell out your full name? I don't really spell out the full name. I add the number five. I think that's what a lot of guys do, so I just throw that in there. Uh, as far as fellow football players, current players, Hall of Famers, is anybody out there that you have their autograph? Um, yeah, I have a few. Uh, I have John Elway's autograph, um, Troy Aitman. You know, just being quarterbacks that I like growing up, you know, so I'll keep those around. Now, speaking of quarterbacks and uh, former players, who were your idols growing up? Who were the guys that you tried to emulate? My favorite guys were uh, John Elway and Brett Favre. That was my two guys growing up. Tried to play like them and, you know, be just like those guys. Hey, Brett might still be around. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a signature out there that you could get, whose would it be? And we can go across the board. It doesn't have to be football. Wow. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Probably Michael Jordan. I'd, I'd go with him. Let me ask you as far as uh, football memories from college. Is there something that's the most cherished moment that you still consider uh, just a great moment in time to look back on? Um, probably one moment would be uh, when I was a redshirt freshman at Oklahoma and we won the Holiday Bowl and uh, in San Diego and I was the MVP of that. That would probably be something that I'll remember you know, for the rest of my life. Nice. Pre-game rituals, Red. Anything you go through on game day that you have to do mentally to make sure you're prepared for the game? Um, I usually watch some film uh, before the game, you know, if it's a home game or something like that when I have access, but other nothing than that. like standard for breakfast, uh, the no. same socks, the same <laughs> jock strap, nothing like that? No, I usually wear the same socks, you know, every game, but I don't really, I'm not a very super superstitious person, so I don't really have a lot of things. Let me ask you about making the transition from college to the pros. What's going to be the most, the biggest challenge that you're going to face this year? I think the biggest challenge is just, uh, you know, getting in the offense and, and learning. You know, it's a big jump from college to the NFL, you know, the mental side. The physical side, yeah, I mean, that's going to be a little jump too. you got to get used to that. But the mental side, I think, you just got to work on that the most. Last question. What makes you the most valuable rookie in this year's class? <laughs> makes me the most valuable rookie. Wow. Go um, ahead. Don't be bashful. <laughs> you know, I feel that, uh, you know, as a quarterback, I bring leadership, uh, competitiveness to the position, and uh, the physical abilities there, you know, make all the throws and, and run around and make plays too.